Um, I usually have most of my stuff memorized, but I've been writing some new stuff, so do we want to hear some new stuff? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I look at the moon. Half crescent nestled in the night sky glows because of the sun. It glows because of the sun. The sun glows on hunched backs of mothers that carry suns on crescent moons. The sun glows hotter on hunched backs, on holding hands. The sun burns. How do you learn to let go of that which gave you life? This sun made with your water, it now boils air. Fire without water will burn itself dry. I look at mothers who raise sons for battles they cannot be prepared for. This onslaught upon their soul that possesses their hands into fists, their feelings into nooses, choking to remember tears like water on flames. Mothers used to wipe tears they collected into oceans. They spewed from their bellies onto suns that got too hot, but water boils into air. We breathe in our mothers, stored in our bellies and in our hearts, made in sight of them. You cannot escape that which gives you life like suns like water like air like earth the soil the soul gifted to mothers assigned sons at birth told they were made of fire so they cannot be touched so they burn until air a sun that burns food for far too long will eventually turn in upon itself and form a black hole, consuming everything around them. The sun looked at the moon and said, I cannot stop burning. Moon replied, I know my son, that's why I gave you tears. Thank you. <laughs>